Hey guys, it's Jessica here. I have another very exciting news for you guys and also a very thankful and grateful opportunity for me, which is about my first ever TV show guesting experience in the Philippines. I was on the show from GMA Pina Sarap um, a couple weeks ago. So yeah, I got to come out on this show as a guest, as a guest host. So I was able to visit some food spots in the Philippines in QC and really co-host the show just like how Cara David, the original host of the show, does it. I just want to go through the behind the scenes of the show and the actual clip from Pina Sara with you guys today. So first, let's go ahead and watch the BTS. Today, for the first time ever in my life, I am um, guesting on a broadcast show here in the Philippines called Pinas Sarap. It's not a kind of show where I really have to bring all my tension up and be funny. It's more like really a dry journalist type of food uh, broadcasting show. So I'm very excited for that. So yeah, let me take you guys with me to the BTS of the show. And I noticed like she speaks completely in Filipino. Ah, uh, Cara the video yeah. host. So. Dahil tungkol sa puso ang ating episode. What? About hearts. My challenge lang tayong haharapin ngayon. Uh, I have never puso. seen puso ng manok. Puso ng manok is really like, the literally the heart. Can, I <laughs> think they're gonna <laughs> let you eat that. Oh my god. Oh. So upon finding out that I'm going to be eating a bunch of hearts today, I arrived in the first shooting location. Is this your first TV guest? Yeah, my first ever TV guest. I'm so happy it's this kind of show, right? Like vibes. And then I also met up with the producer of the show to get briefing about the shoot. Wait, so it's, it's going to be me alone doing yes. it? Uh -huh. Yes. So five also in the second location? Yes. Oh. Ah, so it's just me alone. It's her episode. I want to I love journalists. I'm a fan. So now the shooting begins. As you guys can see, the setup is totally the TV production setup, and I felt like I was filming a YouTube video with a much bigger scale. Wow. Hello, Makapuso, Akapuso Jessica, and today we're gonna be learning how to cook something that I've never cooked before. Uh, Miss Jessica, you try to eat the Legal Express. Yes, I love Legal Really? Express. Here? Yes! Oh! Favorite ko yan. So, as you guys can probably tell, this shoot was actually the Hearts Month February special. So that's why I am eating different heart dishes. And the first dish was made out of chicken's heart. So, the Miko Express uh, is with chicken liver and puso. Chicken pizza. Chicken, puso, and gizzard. Ito yung puso. Sobrang ano, maliit ang puso ni uh, ano. So that was my first ever chicken heart of my life and it honestly just tasted good because the Biko Express itself was good. But yeah, it was just a bit scary, the texture. Uh, how was it? Yeah. <laughs> no smell, no weird smell. And then I also went on with playing some game using the ingredients of the day. Uh, it was a guessing game of guessing which heart it was by touching them while being blindfolded. <laughs> I think it's made out of heart again, guys. But I'm the meat, how it looked, it wasn't normal, na normal na meat. <laughs> when, I, when I checked the script, and then there was like, puso ng saging, puso ng baboy, so I was like, maybe they're talking about the concept of how in the Philippines they always say like, puso something, pusong pinoy, pusong. So I thought it was something like, ah, like those who like saging, so like, puso ng saging. Or like those who like manok, ah, puso ng manok. I didn't know it was literally the <laughs> Maybe they're gonna put Tao's heart. 
Before the shooting in the second location begins, I am listening to the directions from the producer once again. And here I am um, cutting out beef heart. <laughs> The baddest, we're gonna eat the baddest. And I'm not sure if you guys can notice, but I was actually very nervous inside because I wanted to speak Filipino as much as possible, but it was just really hard and challenging. Yeah, even the beef heart bares was really good because the bares itself was very tasty. But yeah, it was still very challenging because of the texture. But it was really good. Alright guys, so that was the end of my first ever TV guesting here in the Philippines. And the huge challenge really was trying to speak in Filipino as much as possible. I know I messed up so much. <laughs> I know they're all laughing, but I hope the people can understand still. I thought I was going to eat like really wow. good food. Like, wow, amazing food, food trip. But then like they made me a bunch of heart. <laughs> 2,000 years later. And the actual clip. Okay, so the title goes Beef Heart Bodice. Pumasa kaya sa panlasa ni Jessica Lee? Seriously, again, the Tagalog. Let's watch it. Siguradong titibok naman ang puso ng mga mahilig sa K-pop dahil makakasama natin ang Korean influencer. Wow, well, honestly, though, camera quality is really good. Like, you know, it was one of those, like, really big broadcasting cameras. Hindi mo wawala ang food trip ng mga pagkain. Well, you know, it feels so, like... I feel so honored that the journalist Cara David, I really wanted to meet her during the show, but I wasn't able to. Her narrating it, like with the professional Tagalog tone, it's so cool. This is it, guys. The heart touching scene. Yeah. GMA made me do this, guys. GMA made me do this. I'm just kidding. Seriously, you know, I have to say, when I was like on the way to this shoot, or like before I saw the script for this episode, I was like, oh, you know, I'm gonna meet Pinasarab, I'm gonna meet the journalist Cara David, and like, oh, I'm gonna eat good food. But then when I went, there was no Cara David, and I had to touch a bunch of hearts. But it was fun, it was really fun. Kaya ni kaya ni Jessica ang susunod. Yeah. Again, this shoot was generally very fun for me because I was able to really be myself because I was like the guest host, right? So I was able to just say whatever I wanted to say. The hardest part really was me trying to really speak in Tagalog because I know Pinasarab, it's entirely in Tagalog. So I really wanted to also speak like solid Tagalog, but I couldn't. So yeah, I felt so bad, but I tried. Yeah, see, I'm trying to speak the Galang Mat. Yeah, I tried, but like I remember during the shoot, I kept getting the grammar wrong, really. And then another thing that I have to really say, what I observed in the production is really they they really took time to film the insert shots of each like food. So yeah, I learned a lot honestly. Like as also someone who makes this kind of show on YouTube, you know, I was inspired a lot. So 
I think really what makes this show good also is really the host, the host Cara David. Like the, her VO, her narrations, kind of really gives this show a whole, whole character, I think. Hang haluan. It's really difficult to look, I feel like. Shai more meaty. Hello, <laughs> y'all! I look so funny. Why do I look so funny? <laughs> Funny, annoying kid kind of vibe. So the second video, Jessica Lee, titigman ang biko express na may balun balunan at puso ng manok. Okay, let's let's go ahead and watch this. Another clip of me eating puso ng manok. Perfect sa ang ham. Yeah, but you know, honestly, that chicken heart it looks a bit really it, it looks difficult. Really, I have to say that this show, when I first um, got the opportunity to guest on this show, I was like so happy because I never knew this show before. I got to know this show only recently. And when I looked through the show, it was just like so interesting. I just love food, right? I'm a foodie. So like anything related to food, I like. Even cooking, I love cooking. So I liked how I was able to see the dish get cooked and eat it. <laughs> it looks like acting, but that wasn't acting, guys. Really, the the screen, like it really looks like a TV TV show screen. This screen is more like YouTube friendly. This is really like TV. <laughs> I'm so. Oh, I, I look so annoying. Like, like she's so annoying. <laughs> wow, I'm so good. Those insert shots. Puso ni manok? Puso ng manok? This is my real reaction though. Like I was shocked that it was actually good. It was better than I, what I thought. <laughs> yeah, good bulutan. So alright guys, that was my first ever TV um, appearance. Guesting experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, there was no script at all, honestly. So it was everything was spontaneous. So my Tagalog wasn't perfect, but next time I'm really gonna try to really, you know, speak good Tagalog. And just in case you wanna watch uh, the clips of the videos I watched today from Pinasarap Jeme, I'll also link it down below. So go ahead and check me out. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.